Hi everyone, Merry Christmas and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. This is a Christmas movie that I have somehow missed. I know that there are a lot of vacation movies, I think. I like a lot of vacation movies. There's one right here that looks like it's called Vegas Vacation, and I don't know if that has to do with this movie as well. Um, and I don't really know if there's like multiple, multiple movies of these, but I do I do know of the Vacation series. This is one of my best friend's favorite Christmas movies, and I've just never seen it. I don't know why. It's just never really appealed to me before. Um, it kind of like my go-to Christmas movies are like Home Alone, Jim Carrey's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, The Polar Express, you know, like those types of movies. Um, but I feel like if I like Home Alone, I'll like this one, right? Uh, Home Alone's kind of sort of like a slapstick-esque vibe, and this movie, I'm assuming, is a very slapsticky movie. Slapstick isn't my favorite comedy in the world, but when it comes to Christmas movies, slapstick is totally fine, and there's a lot of Christmas movies that I really love that have slapstick as one of the biggest types of comedy in the film. So I'm really, really excited to check this one out. I always have a soft spot for Christmas movies as well. I don't know why there's something always magical about them especially if everyone like ends up happy at the end and then the christmas song starts to play and you're like yeah christmas you know <laughs> christmas is my favorite holiday and i'm very 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 excited to check this classic out today and before we get into this reaction let me do the lighting so let me turn on the light and we can decide what color it should be Boop. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so the color today, uh, I'm gonna go green because I haven't gone green uh, for a while on the channel and Christmas movie green is Christmas tree. This is not green, Oliver. You are dumb. This is like a turquoise. Green, we need like, that's a yellow. Green. That's a green, I think. Yeah, I think that that's that's a pretty good green. Okay, so green in honor of Christmas trees, because I love me some Christmas trees. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon where I have uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube, as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early. There are also two exclusive Patreon movies a month that you guys on Patreon get to choose. Thank you so, so much if you check it out. Now, let's get back to the video. Okay, let's have a sleigh ride into this movie. I hope you enjoy my reaction to National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I love Christmas music. <laughs> I love Christmas music, dude. Oh, bye Santa. Santa literally just died. That's an impressive snowman. Dude, if I was a kid and made that snowman, I would be bragging about it all my life. Oh no, poor Santa. Ah, oh, John Hughes wrote this movie? I like John Hughes. Christmas vacation. Yeah! One, two, three, four. This song is a bop, guys. I'm downloading this for my Christmas playlist. Oh my god, he just went straight into the next one. Come on, Russ. Come on, Russ. What we're looking for today is the Griswold family Christmas tree. Oh. Oh, I want to know what that Christmas tree is. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you this guy is getting a little close. This is like the start of Jeepers Creepers. Hey kids, look, a deer. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, okay. That was good, I'll admit. Burn some dust here. Eat my rubber. <laughs> In this car? Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, what the heck is going on here? Why is everything so menacing? Okay. Will you just take it easy, Alan? I'm in complete Why control. is this truck trying to overtake them both? Death. Oh my god. That's actually a crazy stunt. That's actually a crazy stunt. They have to drive at the exact same speed as this truck. And this truck will probably crush the car. Oh my god. Get back under. Oh, okay, or just drive off the cliff instead. drive all the way out to nowhere and waste a whole Saturday. They invented Waste a whole Saturday? This isn't a waste. This looks like good family fun. Cut it down with our bare hands. Mom, I can't feel my hip. Yes, honey. Audrey's you know what? Your hips don't lie. 
Oh my god. God was like, this tree. <laughs> Yeah, how are you gonna fit that on your car? Not going in our yard, Russ. It's going in our living room. What? How are you? Oh my God, she actually looks like she's gonna die. Oh my God, they dug it up. That's a lot of work. That probably took years. I hate these people. You can. I can already tell. I hate these people. Look at his hair. Look at his stupid hair and her. She looks so cool. Oh, blah, blah, blah. she's bad. Ah, yeah. Good little Jason reference. Where do you think you're gonna put a tree that big? Bend over and I'll show you. Oh my God! I was actually just about to make that joke. <laughs> I was actually just about to make that joke. Oh, because it's a sap on his hands. <laughs> oh my god. Just at the same time. Honey, they're family. They're not strangers off the street. Look at this guy's pajamas. Are they like little dinosaurs or something? It's so cute. I wanted to have a big family Christmas. <sighs> Does he not really have a family? Is that why? My anniversaries. <laughs> 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 the running gag of the sap as she's listing stuff off. Not osmotic. What it does is it coats and seals the flag, prevents the milk from penetrating it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a beautiful. I actually would like to use that. I love crunchy cereal. It's the corporates. Get out of here, corporates. Ooh, family man. Mark. Mm. I love how they're all marching in time. Don't forget that report, Bill. Oh my god. This guy is the Grinch in disguise. Alright, kiss, kiss my ass. Kiss his ass. Kiss your ass. Happy Hanukkah. Can I show you something? No thanks. What? What happened? <laughs> Oof. The, the Mr. Sir. I guess it wouldn't be. Mr. Sir. Because it's cold out. Yes, yes. <laughs> it is. It's nippy out. I mean nippy out. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Can I take something out for you? <laughs> <laughs> At least crying now. Oh, no, no. She's not dead. Yeah, just what? She oh my god. This guy. You log. Not a log, I don't have a log, but I mean, you know, just... If I just stop talking, please, you're digging yourself into a hole. Oh my god. <laughs> the kid's like, come on, dad, you're married. What movie is that? What movie is that? Maybe I'll watch it. What movie is that? I love old movies when everyone sings and it's like that retro audio. Oh my god, that's the best. That is the best feeling. I love how chaotic this is. All the family gossip coming out in the first minute. <laughs> I'll give Audrey a quarter too, Audrey. <laughs> Honestly, the kids hate it sometimes. Honestly, I, I relate to the little brother there. I'll be outside for the season. For the season. Literally, my dad, family will come over. He's like, okay, I'm going to move to Hawaii for a bit. I'll be back in a year. You have to check every bulb. A little knot here. <laughs> Oh my god, you are the worst type of person. No! You're gonna fall, dude. You're gonna fall. <laughs> 
Which way do I hold the ladder? Christmas and we're all in misery. <laughs> we're all in misery. What a good line. It's a lot of lights and a lot of staples. Can you imagine how many staples that would that would take? I'm asking the real questions here. Light hanging is no joke. It's basically an extreme sport. Yes! They deserve it. They deserve it. Dinner's ready. Okay, honey. Why is it called National Lampoons? That is something I'm very curious about. Why is it called National Lampoons if the characters are not called like Lampoon, you know? Like Clark Griswold or something like that. Is Lampoon the actual meat? The main actor or something? Why is the carpet all wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. Cause someone peed there. It was Todd. It was Todd. Kick him out the house. Hey! Well, That's quite a bit. Drives. That's quite a bit. That's at least more than five. Drum roll. Oh, oh, uh. No, you go like this. <laughs> sound like lawnmowers. Come on, please work. Is he gonna get electrocuted? Oh man, it just didn't work. So do washing machines. I hate these old people. Get them out of here right now. Well, if you need any help, uh, give me a holler. I'll be upstairs and sleep. <laughs> Whoa, jeez, look at the time. Brush my teeth, feed the hog. Oh my god. He just he doesn't want to do it. Good old Russ. <laughs> Still got those bills to pay. <laughs> I was wondering why he was looking so happy at the ceiling. There's something about montages with Christmas music overlaid on them that I love. Also that moon is so beautiful. Of course. Whoa, that's actually that's actually a pretty good hide, hiding spot. Except for the fact that if you have a present any bigger than that, it's not gonna go there. Why can't you open it from the inside? That seems a little dumb. Please don't. Oh my god. Is he gonna do it again? <laughs> The movie did it well there too because it, there's like a there's like five seconds where you're like oh he's not gonna do it again you think he's gonna happen and then you're like oh it's not gonna happen and then it happens so good dude <sighs> fifty nine is that when he was a kid are those tears Clark. This is so sweet, guys. <laughs> He's so happy, so happy, and then the dad's like, no. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> Why would you sit on the door? Why would you sit on the door? That was such a good moment, though. This movie has a lot more heart than I thought. And what are you wearing, you absolute Martians, you space alien freaks? Glass of wine and kiss every square. This movie sponsored by Evian Water. Mm. I really hope all the lights turn on by the end of the movie. Maybe the kids have been fooling around with it. I'll check them back. Did the people cut it? Did the neighbors cut the cord? If they did, they can literally bugger off. Yeah, they did. They did. I hope all the power to their home goes out. I hope they freeze. I, oh my god! No, it's just God instead. <laughs> it is now the day. Oh, what a good moment. Just ought to do it. No, man. She turned it off again. Oh, oh. <laughs> Everybody come out quick, look at the light. It's so beautiful. You deserve it. I wish there were more stairs. What's he doing, Mark? I haven't the foggiest. What? 
Why? Why did she turn it back off though? No! 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 Don't don't punch Santa in the. F oh my God! You punted him to another dimension. No! Not Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen and Comet and Cupid and Co and 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 Donna. And I forgot the other two. Hallelujah! 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 I hope your carpet is permanently stained. <laughs> She's being suffocated. Oh my god, that's so funny. What the heck? Yeah, if you don't remember, this here is Rocky. <gasps> Rocky Balboa, this is his origin story. But I wouldn't be more surprised than I am right now. <laughs> we have plenty of room. No, you don't. Don't lie. Don't lie. You're shacking up with you after that long drive. We could use a little private time together. Oh my god, in front of your kids! Stop! It's actually so cute. Pet him. That's a honey of a tree, Clark. I love all the cups that Clark has. <laughs> you don't want him around if you wear short pants, if you know what I mean. Oh my goodness. Oh, I did not need that image in my head. Why did you do that? And what a sweet gal and a hell of a good cook. Can I refill your eggnog for you? Get you something to eat? Drive you out to the- I've never had eggnog before. Is it good? He took my house. I took the RV. <laughs> he took my house. He took my house. You took the RV. I'm sorry that Ed, Ed, you got a little scammed. I retool you. I love all the, like time is money. Time is money. Looks like all the gifts are the exact same. Not that I know of, Russ. Russ is like, I'm either gonna die or be as famous as Neil Armstrong. I better try this first, see how it works. Well, you be careful there, Clark. It's, uh, nothing to worry about, Eddie. Clark is literally gonna fly like Sorry, Superman. For... He's gonna become Clark Kent. He's gonna embody Clark Kent for, for the next minute or so. Later, dudes. <laughs> oh my god, this I want to be like this as an adult. I'm dead. That was a nice jump. I would go in that sleigh. I would go I would go in that like toboggan and and just see what happened, you know? It'd be pretty fun. House. I guess that's it. Nothing like waiting to the last minute, huh? They're not giving the bonuses, are there? Are are they? Get it up to here. Don't sweat it. It'll come. It's in deep water. Same to you. Oh, he's definitely in deep water. Here we know the Christmas. Now that is an outfit. Clark, you have a wife. You have a wife. Resist the temptation. Wow. That. He's really imagining things, isn't he? Christmas is almost here. Nervous or excited? Shit and bricks. Oh yeah, that's the exact way to put it. Sorry. Shit and rocks. <laughs> oh my god. Whenever young kids swear, it's always so funny. Sometimes I think all that sand crap's just bull. If he was so real, how come we didn't get squat last year? I love this lady. It's a good idea you came to stay with us, isn't it? I love it here. You don't gotta put on your coat to go to the bathroom. And Aww. Aww, that's, aw, she's so cute. Oh, I was just looking for something. Looking at someone more like it. She is the best. Sure. She is the best character. She is the best character in this movie. Afford to be an elf. <laughs> I can't even afford. <laughs> Santa doesn't pay you. You pay Santa. Ew. Ew. I didn't need to see a close-up of that. It's funny that I hate these people. 
these neighbors and they've and they've not done anything wrong you know they just look like i need to hate them couldn't find a job Catherine says he's been holding out for a management position it took me about 16 years to find a job had to sell off the house the barn the 10 acres okay all i kept was a okay what about the kids <laughs> Oh, yeah. She just smushed it. Oh boy. <laughs> He's so nice. I'm excited for these kids to get gifts. I'm really excited for her to be like, wow, you know? Like, the wonder in children is always so much fun to watch in film. You didn't have to buy me anything. Can I press any gifts, dude? <laughs> what? <laughs> Every day somebody moves into a new house. They didn't move into a new house. <laughs> that looks great. This box is meowing. Let me see it. Meowing. Oh my god. It says meowing, you just shake it up. You shake it up like the they shook the bag in finding Nemo. Grace, she passed away 30 years ago. <laughs> they This is not a great idea. Allegiance to the <laughs> I do. I knew she was gonna do something like this. Amen. 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 Oh, the first cut. That was the most unexpected thing I've ever seen in a movie. I think. Oh, they're eating. Jerky, basically. Turkey jerky. Actually, turkey jerky is not that bad. This is such a fun shot. This is actually such a fun shot. The cat! Yay! Is the cat going to get chased by the dog? You serious, Clark? No, don't ruin this. He's all right now. Maybe if you wouldn't feed no, he's not feeding it to the dog. He's actually eating this jello. <laughs> this cat needs to stop. You know what? This cat, this cat needs to stop. Ah! Fair enough, cat. You deserved it. I told you you had too many plugs in one outlet. Oh God. Okay. What is it? I don't think it deserved to be melted into the carpet. <laughs> oh. It's it's the uh. You know what it is. Okay, that cake looks good. That cake looks so good. One of my favorite things about Christmas is the desserts, dude. The desserts are amazing. I love gingerbread houses. I love gingerbread. They were right. This was his last Christmas. This definitely was his last Christmas. The tree! The tree! Look what you've done to my tree! How did he not notice this? Oh my god, he's on fire. Okay, I, I, I understand now. Is it the bonus? Is it the bonus? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I'd say Merry Christmas back. I was afraid of this. Are you gonna ball all over it or are you gonna open it? <laughs> oh, it's not a bonus, is it? It's not a bonus. It just can't be a bonus in this situation. <laughs> That's the big one. This is not good. No, it's not a bonus. It's too happy. It's just the perfect situation for it not to be the bonus. Yeah. Honey. No, 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 no. Whole year. That it is, Edward. The company really scrooged them over. See what I did there? I said Scrooge instead of screwed. See what I did there? A little Christmas pun for ya. Low life snake licking, dirt eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood sucking, dog kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, badass, bug eyed, <laughs> worm headed sack of monkey shit he is! That was. <laughs> so many adjectives, it was amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, Boom! Crashes through the window. Has to happen. Right there. It's a sign. Get yourself a Christmas tree. We needed a coffin. <laughs> a tree. We needed a coffin. 
All of the presents got burned. I totally forgot about that. Not the presents! Truck driving through a nitroglycerin plant. Shh. Why was that so specific? Why was that so specific? Yeah. Oh my god. Mom, don't move. <laughs> it's like she's a murder victim. I'm going in. Or just catch it in the coat and release it into the wild, bruh. I knew it, I knew it. As soon as you see the squirrel, I was like, my dog would chase. My dog would chase anyone who said squirrel. Is she gonna get a squirrel on her face? I feel like that's where this is going. <laughs> Closes the door. <laughs> Closes the door. <laughs> what happened to you? Wow, she actually slogged him in the face. I find the jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nut house. You're goofy. He's going a little insane. What a friend, Jack Daniels. What a friend. It's your house. It's your Christmas. I'm retiring. Oh, that's so sweet. And Eddie, the man in his pajamas. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He actually got... No. The squirrel was bad, but a kidnapping? Actually, I don't know. Having a squirrel in your house is probably worse than actually kidnapping someone. <laughs> He's still fired, and you what? What? Not on him as part of their salary. Oh, what you did is just plain sucks. Yeah, you get him. You tell him. You tell him, Russ. He looks kind of like Bill Murray. Little people like you. So. I don't know if he's what he's saying is true. Like, it is true, but I don't know if he means it. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Did he actually mean what he was saying there? That felt very, like, forced, you know? Forced character just to say that. Why are they in her house? Boom! Not the tree again! Not the tree, you guys could have avoided the tree. Wait, please? Dude, she looks like a yeti. She looks like a yeti in that coat. Like a giant marshmallow yeti. Welcome to our home. What's left of it? Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on? See where I had was? If I had a rubber hose, I would beat you into I changed my mind. I'm reinstating all the bonuses. If I had a rubber hose, I'd beat <laughs> I love that. She must have very good eyesight, because I cannot see Santa. Riz, it's a lighter in the sewage treatment plant. Sewer gas. No! There is Santa! Santa's actually flying, look! Actually, is Santa still not on this sled? That would be so funny. Oh, Santa, that's awesome. Oh, Canada. Of the free and the home of the oh that's fun that's fun brave and the cops are here too I love it I did it you did it you did it oh what a good ending what a what a what a fun ending and that was my reaction to national lampoon's christmas vacation what a mouthful of a title to say i guess you can just call it christmas vacation but i'm going to be saying national lampoon's christmas vacation i guess i'll just call it christmas vacation from now on because you've just watched this reaction so you know exactly what movie i just watched but yeah the 1989 comedy slapstick movie starring Chevy Chase, Beverly D'Angelo, that's that's who she is. Johnny Gal Gal Galecki, Galecki, uh, Juliette Lewis, and Randy Quaid. That was such a that was such a fun movie. That was such a fun Christmas movie. I don't know necessarily if it's my 
favorite Christmas movie. I mean, Christmas movies are always very hard to judge, especially because I feel like a lot of times your favorite Christmas movies are those which are very nostalgic to you. You know, that that's why I like the How the Grinch Stole Christmas, that's why The Polar Express, that's why Elf, that's why Home Alone are my favorite Christmas movies because they are the movies I grew up watching as a kid. And even if they aren't the greatest movies of all time, they are still the movies that I enjoy to watch the most because I have that connection to them as a child and I feel like a lot of times Christmas movies are at their most magical when you are a child, you know? So I I, I'm tr I was trying to imagine myself as a child watching this movie. Like if I was to watch this movie as a kid, how would I feel? And I think I would have really, really enjoyed this movie and I could definitely see this movie becoming a classic in households. I think that this movie did, did an exceptionally good job at the jokes and I think that this movie had jokes for both adults and younger kids and it even felt like a movie more, more centered for older audiences, you know? There were a lot of stuff about like, like paying your bills and like salaries and stuff like that. A lot of jokes that involved kind of sexual innuendos. And it was very interesting to see how there was a lot of jokes meant for adults, but I feel like this would still be a movie kind of aimed towards kids. And getting into the reviews really quickly before I get into anything else, 7.6 out of 10 on IMDb, which is audience score, and 67% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is critics score. So obviously I audience like this movie a little bit more. Then critically, this movie, I get the 67%, like obviously it's not perfect. There's definitely elements of it that just didn't really work. But uh, audiences, like if you're just going in for a fun Christmas movie for a really fun time, then this is the movie that you're gonna put on. Like there are a bunch of movies like this like Elf for example I think maybe does the 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 actual message of the movie I think Elf portrays a little bit better but you I mean this is just a movie that you can sit down you can have fun with the family and you can enjoy yourself and you don't necessarily have to be paying intense attention like this is not this is not the godfather by any means you know <laughs> getting into the music really quickly I didn't notice the music too much like the actual score but I love Christmas music and this move this movie had a, mu a piece of music called like Christmas Vacation I think that's what the music was called I I'd never heard that song before and it was a bop it played during the credits and I am going to download that song I have a Christmas playlist that I always play every Christmas I pull it out pull out this playlist and I add songs to it that are I like from this Christmas and then I have all these old songs that I've liked throughout the years and it's just like my accumulative Christmas playlist and I'm gonna be adding that song to it I didn't know that that song existed and boy was that song so good. Also, all of the Christmas songs were, were, were used very well. I really liked the, I think it was Ode to Joy. I'm not sure. It was the song that played over the montage of everyone in bed. I don't know why I like that moment so much. I really love when Christmas songs are overlaid with a montage. I love montages. I love Christmas songs. Merge them together. It works really well for me. And yeah, I thought that that montage with that, with that kind of dreamy-like Christmas song, I think it was Ode to Joy, but I'm not sure. I thought that that was done really well. The thing I liked most about this movie were the jokes. The jokes actually surprised me. I saw on the genres that this movie was a slapstick before I even watched the movie and that made me a little worried because slapstick isn't my favorite type of humor but I think that it de dealt with the slapstick comedy very very well. I think I, the, the one that I'm going to refer to is when he's getting hit in the face with the boards which is a very very common slapstick thing is to walk on a board and it to you in the face and he walks he hits the board the board hits him in the face he turns around the second board to them in the face and usually comedy is very good paired in threes so the audience is expecting this third one to hit but to make it more funny and to make it more impactful the the camera kind of stays still and he has this moment of relief and the audience has this moment of like oh he's not going to get hit a third time because you'd expect him to turn hit turn hit and then turn instantly again and get hit but instead he stands there a little bit stunned and then you kind of go oh he's not going to get a hit a third time and then he gets hit a third time you know so it's like that pause is just done very well to make the joke a little bit more impactful and that was a lot of the times with the with the slapstick humor in this it was just done very effectively and not in a way like like the humor in this obviously is over the top but it wasn't too over the top whereas it kind of just takes you out of the movie or just becomes unfunny at that point. You know, I thought the slapstick humor was done really well and I found a lot of humor in it. There are also a lot of just really good lines in this movie and obviously now that I'm saying that I can't remember any single line, but I think that the actual script made me laugh more than the visual comedy. Of course, the visual comedy in this movie was really good, but I thought this script was really funny and really tight when it came to the jokes. Uh, I really liked that little girl the, the little girl like Catherine's daughter she was so much fun and when she was talking about Santa and how they've been like good good 
good kids and then they never got anything. I thought that was such a funny sequence when, when Chevy Chase's character Clark is naming off everything that his boss is using all of those adjectives. I was like, this is this is amazing. You know, there were, there were a lot of good moments in the script in this movie and a lot of really good funny moments. Some of them, I, some of them, I, like the, the script would happen and I would just sit there and then like five seconds later, I'd be like, oh, that makes sense, you know? So I feel like this movie would work on a second watch as well, has a lot of rewatchability because maybe there are jokes that go over your head, especially as kids. Like if I watched this as a kid, half of these jokes, I would not understand. But now watching this as an adult, there are so many jokes that I was like, oh my God, like why do they turn it in for here? And then there was this whole, this whole subplot basically of Chevy Chase with that warehouse girl you know the store girl and the, I, I was like what the heck is happening there's literally a naked girl in this kids Christmas movie is this even a kids Christmas movie anymore and there were definitely certain parts of it where I was kind of doubting if this was even a kids Christmas movie this feels more like a, a pre-teen Christmas movie but then there's the slapstick elements which would make it very appealing for kids so I don't really know where this movie actually lies I, I feel like it's more of like a ages like 12 to 14 movie I feel like that's where maybe you'd get the most enjoyment out of it but at the same time I feel like if you're like seven eight nine ten years old you would still really like this movie but then your parents maybe like my parents I know if I watched this when I was eight they'd be like cover your eyes there's a naked woman on screen you know or they'd be like they turn it off because they think it's too inappropriate and they're swearing and stuff like I wasn't even allowed to watch stuff with swearing it until I was like 10 years old or 12 years old or something like that and that was just because my dad got lazy and stopped trying to stop trying to tell me what to watch. But yeah, I thought everything else about this movie was good. The one thing that I didn't like about this movie was actually, I really liked the ending, but I didn't like that the boss changed his mind. And like, of course that has to happen. He, everything has to turn out well in the end. It's it's a Christmas movie, All like stuff always has to turn out good in the end. You always have to have this positive message. I'm, I'm okay with that, I'm aware of that. But it just felt very forced. It didn't feel, very natural and I get that the movie had a, a time constraint and this whole thing and the boss wasn't really an important character and everything but it just didn't feel like he should have changed his mind like when he was just changing his mind I was doubting everything that he was saying because everything he was saying was right and true and good but I was not I was not on board with what he was saying was the actual truth because I didn't trust him and like I don't really like I, I wish they were just spent a little more time either developing his character. I mean, not a lot of characters even had development in this movie. Like even Chevy Chase had, he had development. Actually, no, Chevy Chase's character had some good development, but most of the other family members didn't really have development. So I guess I don't want the boss to actually have more character development. I just wish that that moment didn't feel like it was so sudden, sudden and so forced because I feel like it kind of ruined, it kind of ruined the magic of the moment for me at least because it just abruptly happened and then I was like what did he actually just change his mind because it just didn't feel like he was set on changing his mind but I mean maybe watching this on a second watch it, it won't feel as forced um, but then again that's like my only real grievance with the movie I think everything else was done very well uh, and I thought that this was a very a very fun Christmas movie getting into the cast now Chevy Chase Beverly D'Angelo uh, and then I'm probably just gonna talk about Randy Quaid and yeah, that's probably it. The guy who played Russell, Johnny Ga Galecki, I think that's how you say his name, as who played Russell, he was so fun. He was so fun, I loved that kid. But Randy Quaid as Cousin Eddie was definitely a standout. He was he was awesome, he was awesome. I recognize his actor, I recognize his actor from something, but I cannot remember for the life of me what I've seen him in before. But he was awesome in this movie. Of course, you like, you're kind of disgusted by him because he apparently he smells really bad. Uh, but at the same time, he was just so lovable. And then when he pulls out that list in the store and stuff, and he's like, oh, thank you. I want to get you something as well, you know? And then he gets in the bus. He was just like such a good friend and such a good person. And I enjoyed I enjoyed his screen time because he just kind of added, he added this dynamic that the family was kind of missing. And he was kind of like this last piece of the puzzle to make the movie just really solid. And I loved his character. I thought Randy Quaid did an amazing job. Beverly D'Angelo, De, De, D'Angelo or D'Angelo. I think it's just D'Angelo as Ellen. Honestly, she looks so familiar in the movie, but I don't know if I've ever seen her before in anything I'm just gonna check where I know her from if I know her from anything Okay, so I just did a very quick thorough search and I don't think I've ever seen any of her movies So I don't know why she kind of looked like uh, Who's the lady in Parks and Rec the blonde lady the main character like, you know, you know who I'm talking about She looks like her she looks like her and so sometimes I guess I must have been mistaking her for 
for that for that woman instead but i'm not sure why i thought i recognized her i feel like i do maybe i just missed a movie that i've seen or something but anyways she was great in this movie i loved how much that she cared about clark and um i don't know i just like she was just she was just fun she added some some good humorous moments but she wasn't the most humorous character i like that she was kind of more the normal person and that was good because then it kind of showed a normal person and then it paired it with all of these goofy antics and then she was just kind of like this normal person in the room kind of like you as the audience member unless you're weird like me i mean i guess then then you would be considered one of the weird people too you wouldn't be yeah sorry about that <laughs> anyways i i just thought she did a great job as ellen i thought beverly beverly d'angelo was amazing and finally chevy chase as clark what a well, what a performance he was so funny in this movie his facial expressions the way he delivered dialogue his just body language and actions and stuff like that was just so much fun and i don't i haven't seen chevy chase in anything or many things i may have seen him in one or two things his name is very familiar to me but i don't remember where i've seen him from but he was amazing in this movie i can see why this movie definitely gained more traction especially because he was in the role he was just he was just perfect he was so lovable he was so kind and then he was also like so high strung on just having like the perfect day and i loved it i loved his character i loved his acting i thought chevy chase did an amazing job and that is my reaction and review to national lampoon's christmas vacation or just christmas vacation i said i would just call it christmas vacation and then i didn't anyways thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful beautiful people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel it really does mean a lot and yeah i hope that you enjoyed this christmas movie i have some other ones in store some classics some more recent actually no most of them were most of them i think think are at least 1980s maybe 1990s and then and, and older so no no really very recent ones mostly mostly old classics that i've just missed somehow that i've just missed because i've been watching elf for the 1000th time anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for my next movie reaction